Digital Distracted Driving Summit is happening this week, and typically it brings hundreds of people to the state capitol. But, of course, with the rise in COVID cases, that event is going to be remaining online. Our Megan Thompson with our Operation Safe Roads team has been covering this event almost really, Megan, since its inception. And this is the first full year we've actually had enforcement on using cell phones while driving. And Kaylee, so many of you have reached out to our Operation Safe Roads hotline asking about that law. Our hands-free law was signed officially back in 2019, but with a long education period, law enforcement wasn't able to actually cite and find drivers until January of 2021. It seems more education needs to be done, though, as more, dr more drivers get back on the road amid this continuing pandemic, some for the very first time. Clinging to the grab handle. Hopefully they'll pay attention to you because they should be speeding up to get in. A legal requirement to be a so-called backseat driver. Turn right. There you go. And a bumper sticker. All the signs that mean a teen driver has taken the wheel. Next month, I should be getting my license or should be doing my driver's test and hopefully get my license. West Valley Junior Mackenzie Bethencourt and her twin sister Rachel have grown up learning about road safety. Their dad is on the Operation Safe Roads Advisory Board and spent years as a facilitator for the annual Distracted Driving Summit. Here are the two appearing on ABC 15 well before a license was in their line of sight. It's always scary when you're trying to learn and they're just not paying attention and you're just trying to figure everything out and it's like, ah. <laughs> and now what they've heard about all their life is a scary road reality. They're looking down on their phone and I'm like, look up. Distraction and poor driving, still a huge problem on Arizona roads, with ADOT seeing a rise in fatal crashes every year since 2019. It's just kind of interesting how people like kind of like go, oh, I don't need to follow that rule, but not following that rule can cause a lot of problems for everyone else around you. That's why it's important to refresh your driving and have serious conversations with your teens. The Distracted Driving Summit's online platform has videos, interactive quizzes to test your knowledge and other resources. The event is officially on Wednesday, but you don't have to wait to access the material before that next permit lesson. There's only so many things that you can do to prevent everything, but you can do those small things and take the big step. They can teach us a thing or two, can't they? And they've been doing so since fifth grade. The Bethencourt twins took it upon themselves to study distracting behavior in the school pickup line. From that, they came up with the phrase phones down, eyes up, which has been used across Arizona to help educate the public. The link to the fifth annual Distracted Driving Summit is online now when you click on the story on abc15.com slash roads. And if you have a road issue or a question, you can contact me through the Operation Safe Roads hotline. It's 833-AZ-ROADS or email roads at abc15.com. Megan, thank you. It's so great to be able to feature people here on ABC 15 Mornings who are really making a difference right here where we live.